Assalamu alaikum. I'm Dr. Memuna, ob consultant. Today I wanted to discuss about a certain issue girls have when they start taking oral contraceptive pills or OCPs. They usually, if they don't understand how to take it or uh, what actually is the mechanism, they usually end up with unwanted, unintended pregnancy. So first thing, when you plan after discussion with your gynec that you want to opt for OCPs, you want to take oral contraceptive pills, there are certain things you have to keep in mind. You have to be very compliant. By compliance, I mean that you should not forget. Because if you're going to miss your pills, definitely the outcome would be something unwanted. Now. For example, you have started, there are different type of pills, 21 day pill and 28 day pill. So usually the main um, hormones which are present are present in the 21 day pill. And the pills which are given for the next seven days in 28 day pills, they are just placebos or iron or iron calcium, uh, so, um, iron pills, which will definitely not uh, give any effect regarding contraception. That's just so that because you're taking tablet every day, every day, every day, you don't forget it. Okay, so for example, someone wants to start. What is the best time to start? The first day of the period is the best time to start the pills. Even if not the first day, first five days are the best time to start the pills. Because if you start it on the first day, the pills take almost seven days to start their action and then you'll be protected. So if, if you have started it on the first day of your period and you will menstruate till seven days, you will be protected by the time your menstruation finish and you don't need any extra contraception. Now, this concept is very important. Why? Because sometimes people want to start pills in the middle of cycle. So whenever you plan to start in the middle of cycle, remember that be sure you're not pregnant, your pregnancy test should be negative, and then once you start it, for the first seven days, it will take time for the protection level to come. So you have to use some extra contraception, like condoms or any barrier method, for the pill to be effective. Okay, one point is this. Second point is that, for example, if you miss a dose, so if you miss one dose, you can take it the next day, okay, as soon as you remember, just take it then and continue with the next pills. If you have missed two doses, two pills, then you have to take the one you have missed and then continue with the rest, but you have to take protection for seven days again, the same concept that these pills because there was a break their protection level has come down so you need seven days protection by continuing any barrier contraception along with the pills i hope it's clear now one more thing that if these were this was the condition from the first till 21 day pill but if you are suppose from 21 day pill to 28 day pill and you miss something, you do not have to worry because these are iron pills. So even if you throw it or you don't take it, it doesn't matter. But if you're taking the contraceptive pill, uh, the hormonal part from day one to 21, then you have to be very cautious and you must use extra protection for seven days after missing two pills or uh, according to those three pills but better to consult with your doctor that which pill are you taking and what is the content inside uh, also one more thing if you miss your pill there's a chance you may have some breakthrough bleeding or some spotting so don't worry about it and come to your doctor and talk about it I hope it helped you take care bye bye